This audio series is the property of the radio advertising people. Use of this audio is restricted and permission must be sought before use. This audio series is rated 80. Contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. Episode 4. It was one long night for me. Why is my father now calling me to apologize? Was he after something? <laughs> Wonder shall never end. I was so hurt. Hey. If I remember how my own father asked me not to refer him as my father. This same man slapped me in his office and kicked me on the floor in front of the soldiers that night when I begged him that I was pregnant. This evil man raped me in his hotel room when I went to beg him for money to save my own dying mother. God, <laughs> forgive me because the pain in my heart. <sighs> One evening, as I was laying in the couch watching a movie, I decided to ask him for some real tough questions. Charlie, this series is crazy. Have you finished watching it? Hmm, almost. Um, but I'm not really concentrating on it. My mind is running wild. I know. So have you decided on what to do now? Will you call Corey? Me, I think you should call him and apologize. You have no idea what I've been through. I understand Corey loves me, but... But if the guy loves you, then he would definitely have a soft spot for you. What uh, will he do? You said the man bought you a new car, gave you money. Et foi. I have been tortured. As I'm sitting here right now with you, <laughs> I I'm so traumatized. I, I can barely sleep. I if I close my eyes, I get flashes of what I went through in prison. The, the same Cory guy and his brother sexually abused me terribly. But he apologized. It's not about the apology. The, the beast is still in him. It's just a matter of time. It will come out again. When Cory gets angry, trust me, you wouldn't want to experience him But more. mommy... Look, look, come, come and see. H have you seen this cut on my, on my hip? Hey. Yes, Cory used one of those metal chairs to hit me. Oh my god! Yes, all because I was talking to Mike after school. Oh no! The guy beats me up mercilessly. There's no way I'm going to slack and get pregnant for such a man. No, please. Okay, so calling Cory is out. So, are you going to court? <sighs> if I go to court to see see why I, I i can't think straight hmm. and also I, I can't stay with you here forever I, I need to move oh as for that one dear don't stress cra i don't have a problem with that for me i make my own money mm, but you cra i need to introduce you to some business moves for a second i was expecting her to tell me about sleeping with big men like Mr. Ankara. For me, I was not ready to have any form of sexual exploitation. A shocking revelation was about to be made. But before I tell you, you must promise me, this remains between us. Like, swear mommy, on your life. Well, something I've come to learn the hard way is to trust people. So what taught me a very valuable lesson. Exactly. That's why if you tell anyone, I'll be very disappointed in you. Because I know you've gone through a lot. Mm -hmm. You can trust me. I know. Anyways, just so you know, I have a four-year-old daughter. Oh, wow. <laughs> a daughter? Yeah. But where is she? She's with my mom because I'm in school. Charlie, I don't have time like that. Oh, if what? But you have a big house. Why don't you bring her here? Oh, Charlie, she will slow me down. I didn't even breastfeed her. Oh, oh really? But why would you do that? So that my breast will fall. Have you seen the girls who have been breastfeeding? Oh, have you seen their breasts? Oh, Ifwa. But your daughter didn't ask to be born. Don't treat her like that. 
some of us we don't even have our mothers around to even see them mommy this mommy, one dear look, i'm sad i understand how you feel i know you probably miss your mom too but everybody's situation is different my daughter is fine no don't cry see the girl gets everything she wants oh. so chill oh it's okay i'm fine it just got me emotional i know i know but listen i'm good okay i'm good but is that what you don't want anyone to know oh not that that you have a child people know i just don't like showing her off so they tag me as born one that's all but but if what what's wrong with being called born one you have to be proud of yourself you have a daughter forget about all the things people would say what haven't i been through okay i've heard you you i'll, I'll think about it <sighs> where is her dad is it mr ankara that's what he thinks at least what wait what do you mean by that's what he thinks it's a long story maybe yes maybe no but i don't want you to judge me i think of all the people in this world i'm the last person to worry about i have been there too before but are you saying mr ankara thinks your daughter is his yes that's what he thinks he's not the father of your daughter he's not so who is let me just tell you the whole story just like what i heard about you things were really hard at home my dad used to work with this company and the company folded up so he too he came home very depressed no job no money oh no is he okay currently yes but he suffered a stroke so it's my mom who is taking care of him oh my god oh it's fine B but things are better now that was back then as for right now dear he's getting the best medical care and all of that i i think i know where the story is going exactly but either ways let me tell you so like i was saying things were very rough and my mom too wasn't working then just after my dad suffered the stroke about like a few weeks later i was also raped in school what <sighs> yes i was also raped mommy if what what happened i hate talking about it i swear nobody does if what anytime i think of my experiences i just break down what those four boys did to me eh? and as if that wasn't enough even when i came to level 100 I was raped and then the four boys then my dad raped me and when I was in prison I know I can't compare my situation to yours but for me even just once was enough to crush me how much more are you I'm glad you feel my pain that's why I stopped posting on social media because people who never understood what it meant like to be abused just kept insulting me and saying all kinds of things they'll never understand until it has happened to you so who raped you it was this stupid guy he was in uni here i had just finished ss i went to visit him in school and that day i don't know it was as if he had planned it because when i got to his room I didn't even realize all his roommates left us alone in a very nice way. But were you guys dating? It was later that I realized that he didn't love me. He just wanted sex. And the sad part was that I was a virgin. Mommy, the kind of plans I had for my life, eh? Didn't we all? I tell you. Hmm. Anyway, so like I was saying, I went to visit him one evening. He was in his final year, though. When I got there, a few minutes later, all the other guys left the room. Then he locked the door. Did he know you were a virgin? Oh, yes, he did. He had wanted to have sex several times, but I declined. Until that day, he locked the door, took out his belt, and started undressing right in front of me. I was getting scared, but I thought maybe he was changing so we go out. Don't tell me he used the belt on you. Mommy. My old boyfriend started lashing me with the belt. Then he took out a knife that 
If I did let him fuck me, he would stab me. But why didn't you scream for help? I did. But guess what? What? His roommates were just standing outside the door, intentionally playing loud music. The music was so loud that no one could hear me because I screamed here. I swear. Oh, no. Yes. So, he removed my skirt, but he left my panty on. He just pushed it to the side and raped me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, mommy. After he was done, his bed sheets were stained with blood. That's when he really realized I was a virgin. I cried eh? I just dressed up and took my bag and asked him to open the door. He was trying to hold me back and apologize, but I didn't listen. When I came outside and saw the other boys, they were laughing at me. That's all. I, I just left. Oh, if I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry for you. I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> it's fine. So that's how I got pregnant. But you didn't report him? No. I was scared. It very and my dad was very sick and my mom was going through a lot because we didn't have money so to add insult to injury was going to be very difficult besides i didn't know i was pregnant this is painful very mommy very painful it changed my life for good completely so how did mr Ankara come into the picture and where is the guy who raped you? A few weeks later, I think just about a week and a half or so, I was supposed to have my mentors and it didn't come. So I was forced to go and check. That's when I realized I was pregnant. So I called him. I didn't want to talk to him ever again. But I had no option but to call him. And what did he say? Uh, he said he doubted it was his because he didn't come in me besides he's leaving the country to work outside and he wouldn't return so if i decided to keep it that's my own wahala that's what he told you in his exact words i will never forget that day so i don't get it how does mr Ankara come into the picture you know so i couldn't tell anyone and mommy i was scared as hell trust me i know what it feels like i was confused i wanted to even commit suicide at some point so a few days later when i realized i was pregnant i was going to buy medicine for my dad when i met mr Ankara at the pharmacy shop oh i see yes so he offered to pay for the drugs for me and then he asked me my name and all so we became friends he gave me his contact and told me he was in town for a few days. So if I like, I can come and see him at his hotel later in the evening. So I went. Alone? Yes, because I had a plan. A foie. Wait, let me tell you. Wait. So when I went to his place, I knew he also wanted to have sex. But don't get it twisted, do. I wanted to abort the baby. But I didn't have the courage to do it. Hmm. I've been there. It's not easy, oh, mommy. At hmm. all. So I gave in to Mr. Ankara when he showed signs of wanting to have sex. And bear in mind that I had just had sex once. And he too, his thing was huge. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hmm. So okay. I collected it like that. <laughs> Made him also come in me hmm. and promise him I would take drugs. In fact, he made me take the drug in front of him in the morning before he left town. But I knew it wasn't going to do anything because I was already pregnant. It was later that I informed him that the pill didn't work and that I was pregnant. Oh, wow. So that's why he thinks your daughter is his? Yeah, that's why. But you told your parents, right? Yeah, eventually. He took me to see my parents and confessed that we had sex and that I was pregnant. He what? Yeah, he's a very responsible man. He took me to my parents and told them what had happened. My mom was shattered. 
As for my dad, because of the stroke, he didn't know till I was about six months into pregnancy. But he couldn't do much because he can't really talk. If what, this is really sad. Yes. I mean, I can't compare mine to yours, but yes, I've seen some. So basically, Mr. Anka is taking care of me and my parents now. Wow. If what? <laughs> That's some bad situation you are in. But but don't you think if you told him the truth from the beginning, he would have maybe understood and helped you? Just like how everyone was just saying you should have told Derek about Rodney from the onset. I, I guess so. Wow. If what? Like, this is crazy. But what if he finds out through DNA test later? Well, for now, let's enjoy today. Later will solve itself. So I'm guessing your parents also don't know this. No, never. The only person who knows this is Z. But me and him are very cool. I trust him. So Mr. Anka is fathering a child that is not his. The luck I have is that she looks like me a lot. Wow. A first story was sad and complicated. I understood her, so I didn't judge her. But some more revelations were about to come. Before I went to bed that night, Mr. Anka called Ifwa to speak to her and later asked how I was doing. This is indeed a small world. Do you remember Sandra? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll soon remember. Hi, sir. Good evening. Yes, good evening, mommy. How are you? I'm fine, sir. And once again, thanks for everything. That's okay, that's okay. So far as you and Ifwa are bonding, I'm okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Girls, girls. Good, 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 good. <laughs> mommy, in addition to everything, I want you back in school. And I'm suggesting I get you to complete your final year in the Western region. What do you think? Oh, uh, Mr. Ankara. Wow. Um... You will sponsor me to go back to school? Oh, yes. That's not a problem at all. It's important that you finish, you know. Who knows? You and Ifua can work for me in my company. As for Ifua, <laughs> she says she doesn't want me to be her boss. Wow. I'm, I'm grateful, sir. I'm very grateful. Wow, Mr. Ankara, th that's very kind of you. That's fine. That's fine. Listen, I could use a grade A student in my office anyway. <sighs> Thank, thank, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I also wanted to speak to you briefly about the court proceedings. Have you decided on what to do? No, no, not, not yet. Mommy, you have to. And you know, for me, I'm a very honest person. So I don't want to keep you in hiding and be called out when this issue turns nasty. I have political aspirations, you know. And that's the reason why I need you to report this to the police as soon as you can. I understand, sir, but please... Just give me till tomorrow to, to get back to you, please. Sure, sure, sure. But please, we have to speed up. I don't want to sound like I'm putting pressure on you. I don't have a choice. Or I may have to hand you over to the police. I understand you. I, I, I'll figure out what I want to do by tomorrow, please, sir. No problem. I also have a court case uh, pending. So tomorrow I will be in court from 9 a.m. But immediately I'm done. I will call you, okay? Yes, please. I, I hope everything is fine. Oh, yes. It's just an employee of mine who stole some money from my office about three years ago. And we reported her to the police and she was placed on remand. The case has been called again, so uh, I will be in court tomorrow to make a, uh, an appearance. She pleaded not guilty uh, anyway. Wait, sir. A an employee stole money from you? Which jail was she placed on remand? I think she was sent to the north or so. It's been a long time. I don't really remember the details. Sir? Yes? What's her name? I think she she's called Sandra. Hello. Hello, mommy. 